We are talking with Coyote Volleyball senior Haley Dotsith. Haley's from Johnson, Iowa. Big weekend for the Oats on Sunday in Brookings against arch rival South Dakota State. Haley, a big milestone for you personally, becoming the 10th player in school history to reach 1,000 kills. What emotion did you feel Sunday when you realized you had accomplished 1,000 career kills? Um, I guess I wasn't really counting or anything like that. Leading up to the match, I knew I had like 15 to go. Um, so I actually wasn't even sure I was going to get that um, that match. But uh, I could actually tell when Leanne kind of pulled Jerks aside and told her I was close because we went from like a super balanced offense in the first couple of sets to I got like four or five balls in a row. And I was like, OK, you know, it's probably coming up here. but. Um, I guess just like the overwhelming support from my teammates. I mean, they kind of, I knew which one it was because they all went crazy and, you know, everyone's jumping up and down and screaming. Um, and my dad was there, my family, just all the overwhelming support is just, it just feels very proud to be a coyote right now. Earlier in the year, you joined the 1000 Career Dig Club yeah. along with teammates Lauren Sauer and Ann Rasmussen. Yep. What does it mean to you and for the team to have three individuals reach that mark this year? Yeah, I think, I mean, it just attributes to our defensive um, standard, I guess, at this point. Uh, we really just focus on trying to keep the ball off the floor, get ourselves in system as much as possible. Um, and to have three of us reach it, I think we all reached it within, like, two weeks of each other. Um, I even joked to Lauren, actually, before the game that we uh, were um, – mentioned in and I was like you know it kind of seems like this isn't even a big deal because there's three of us getting this on one night but uh, just amazing to be able to play with such amazing defenders and I think we each bring each other up in that standpoint. And you joined an elite list of one of five in school history to have mm -hmm. join the 1000 kill 1000 dig club. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just proud to be a coyote. Um, just try to come in every day and do my best and get better every day and um, do my job in each match. And I guess different nights mean different things for me and just being able to score points for my team and keep the ball off the floor so that other people can score points is just, uh, just really awesome to see that kind of see my game um, be successful in that way. What's been key for the Cows to get off to the five and one start? in the summer league? I think it is our, a lot of our defense right now. And I think, um, you know, we started out 4-0, I think. And um, none of those were really clean matches. So I think we learned a lot from each match. And even the Denver match that we kind of uh, struggled in a bit, I think we're just learning every day. And we're working hard to get better every day. So I think that's going to be really good for us moving forward. Omaha comes in on Friday. Mm -hmm. They are currently 5-0 and in the summer league. What are you looking forward to most about the fact that obviously this is a battle for the top part of the conference? Yeah. I mean, Omaha is always a great team. They have had a really strong program since I've been here at least. And um, they're always really hype, really um, emotional. So we always know it's going to be a good game when they come in. And we're excited to defend our home court against them. And we just know it's going to be a really good game. When all is said and done for your career, what are you going to be most proud about your time spent as a Coyote? I don't know, I guess, um, I mean, I guess all athletes can attribute to this, but just being part of something that's bigger than yourself and I guess um, building new relationships, the girls that have been here since I've been here, um, just, I don't know, I guess it's hard to put into words at some point, but just really proud to be here and be a coyote.